with Luke Combs right now, our iHeartCountry album release listening party. Look, I got a question. I was looking at your Instagram. I guess it was, you posted it uh, just a, a few months ago, obviously. You just got married. You had the beer can for a cake. Uh, sure. Do you save any of that beer can, or did you actually eat the beer can? Well, the, the beer can wasn't our actual wedding cake. That was a gift uh, from Miller Lite. And so that we actually had that at the rehearsal dinner. So uh, that was not our official wedding cake. Uh, however, it was super badass and very delicious. You did eat it, though, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay, it's not because I have friends that do those cake shows where they make cakes and they're all artsy. And 80% of the cake is art, and you don't even get to eat it because it's burnt and made hard. But that was a real deal. Yeah, it was a real deal. Dang. All right, Luke Combs is here. We have some fans that have joined us on the Zoom for this listening party, and they have some questions for you, Luke. So I'm going to read this one. Uh, This is from Jace. She says, Luke, what made you finally decide to go for it, leave it all behind, and pursue music? Um, I think it was once I figured out – thank you for your question, by the way. Hello. Um, but once I figured out that that's what I wanted to do, I mean, there was just kind of no stopping it. You know, I, I had been in college for a long time and I didn't really fully grasp like what I was doing there, why I was there. I, I kind of just felt like I was there cause I was supposed to be. Um, and then I had been singing for my entire life and, um, uh, picked the guitar up. And when, once I figured out that I could put those two things together, um, it was just an easy decision for the, from there. So, I think I think you know if you find that thing, you'll know and and just like I did. We have one here from Kelly who lives in Canada. First, she says she's from the easterly point in Canada, the most easterly point called Newfoundland, and she's wondering if you'll tour there one day. But mostly, she also wonders what your favorite song you've ever written is. Yes, I will. I will tour there one day. I would love to. It sounds beautiful. Um, favorite song I've ever written is a really tough question i feel like there's like probably 10 answers to that Uh, it's hard to not say beautiful crazy i mean that that you know one song of the year at the cmas and um it's hard to to not say even though i'm leaving uh and you know i really love this one's for you as well you know that song is really special to me and um i mean i think there's a lot of choices that i and i love a lot of different songs for a lot of different reasons so i hope that i'm not trying to skirt your question but there's a lot of different ones that I love a lot. I was doing my voting for the CMA Awards actually a little bit earlier today. I voted both election and CMA Awards today. I'm very voted today. I feel very, very accomplished. And as I was looking at Song of the Year, you have two songs in there, one that you actually sing and one that you wrote but didn't sing, which Carly Pearson and Lee Bryce sang. Uh, you have two songs in that category. I mean, if you got to pick one, what is it? Man, it's tough, you know. Um, it, it's a tough decision I, and because you get – you get in that rock and the hard place of you you wrote both the songs with people that you really like and that you want to win, you know, and then you go I mean, I would be happy with either one and I would also be you know, bummed out for the other one because my, that would mean my other buddies didn't win, you know. Be tough. Got a question from Clayton. Huge fan Luke Combs. I saw you on Twitch playing Call of Duty. Do you play a lot or not that much anymore? Also, when did you know you fell in love with Nicole? That's two big questions, Luke, so take your time. <laughs> That's huge questions. Yeah, I like them, though. Um, yeah, I do play Call of Duty still. <clears throat> I'm not sure what your definition of a lot is. I would say I play like an all right. Um, it's not like every day. Maybe a couple times a week, like two two, three times a week maybe I play. Um, but I do really enjoy that. Um, and when did I know that I was in love with Nicole? I mean, really the first time that we hung out, you know, I would never – have told her that then because it probably would have freaked her out but um but yeah man I, I i knew pretty much instantly take a second and mention both those guys behind you that are playing with you because they're such a pivotal part of what you do yeah this is uh hey, man. T- tyler king back here <laughs> and uh rob wilford back here um and two guys that have been with me for a long time and um usually we don't even sit in the v like this usually i have they're on the same Weird, man. thing is me isn't it weird being back there because we're all kind of usually right here and we call ourselves the front three you know That's three, across front, the front. three right. across the front boys you know <laughs> um we're the money makers the hot guys up there you know yeah. singers yeah. you know he hired me for my we're, body <laughs> <laughs> but no these are some of my best friends and we have a great time and um yeah they they kick ass a lot all right luke combs is here it is the iheart country album listening party with luke 
celebrating his new deluxe album, What You See Ain't Always What You Get, which is available right now. And right now we have a special guest joining us to say hi and uh, talk to Luke on video. Hey Luke and everybody, it's Carly Pierce. And I first of all just wanna say congratulations on what you see ain't always what you get. You know that I think you're amazing and uh, you need no further words of that. But I have a question for you. I wanna know, how many songs have you written during quarantine? And I have to say, you posted Sleepless in a Hotel Room and that is officially my jam, so you better cut it. Well, thanks for your question, uh, Carly. Uh, I've probably written... I've probably written 40, maybe songs, close to 40 songs, I think, uh, during quarantine, I guess. Maybe a little less than, maybe 30, 30 to 40, somewhere in that range. But I did not write Sleepless in a Hotel Room during, that was right before the pandemic. Here's one more. Uh, Luke, this is from Roxanne. What is your favorite place to perform? You don't mention your home. Your favorite place that's not your home to perform. Can't wait to see you perform September 11th, 2021 in Raleigh. Um, my favorite place to perform, I mean, I think back to when we had first started playing. I mean, some of those shows we had at Coyote Joe's in Charlotte were just outrageous. I mean, just the like energy in there was insane. I know you guys probably close to agree with that. I've never been to County shows, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, Zydeco, Birmingham, I loved those shows a lot. Like, yeah. the first shows that we did, like, you know, and not that, man, we have the best time doing what we do now, but, like, when you're in those small rooms, like, the energy is, like, palpable. You can just feel it in there. And the people are right there in your face, and everybody's just, like, sweating. It's so hot and awful in there, but it's just, like, the best thing ever, too. All right, Luke Combs, there he is. Appreciate you being here today. Yes, All sir. All the best with your new deluxe album, What You See and Always What You Get. Thank you. This is Bobby Bones, our iHeart Country album listening party with Luke. Check out his new music. Luke, we'll see you soon, bud. See you, bud. See you, fans. Thanks, guys.